So as you saw from the lead off, there is a cave painting from Lascaux, France, 20 to 30,000 years old. It gives you the impression that UFOs have been around here for a very long time. If you guys have studied uh, Michael Cremo's work at all, especially um, uh, uh, devolution, um, you'll see that we were at a much higher state earlier on than we are now. We, we, some, we somehow devolved, whether, like I said before, whether it's cataclysm, whether it's by design because something is controlling us, some other consciousness or set of consciousness controlling us. It really doesn't matter. The point is UFOs have been around here for a long time. On the upper right, you see a cave painting from uh, Peshmerl, France, estimated at 17 to 19,000 years old. Um, below, you have a almost space shuttle-like uh, drawing from or glyph from Japan in a cave. And, of course, um, our little friend down here with the large head, he may be posed for the Indiana Jones movie. Um, but those large heads are starting to come back into vogue. People are doing more research on those large heads. Uh, the lessons, Sasha Lesson and uh, Janet Kira Lesson, are doing some work following up on the Sitchin material and uh, indicating that some of the Conehead peoples and stuff were of Anunnaki origin. So, so and this particular um, glyph is from, I uh, hope I pronounce this right, Tassili and Najir, Algeria. So that's, a, that's an African one. There's, and look, these things are riddled all around the world. Native Americans uh, all across North America have glyphs like this there's glyphs in australia glyphs in india this stuff is rampant and it just as a researcher when i got into this stuff i started to realize really quickly hey this is not a new idea ufos in the inner earth have have been uh related to each other since long before modern history or at least the history that we trace back eight thousand years to central turkey and you know the mesopotamia that kind of thing Sitchin work so anyway uh, but for me, the absolute most fascinating story, or it's right up there with the Shaver mystery. I'll talk about the Shaver mysteries in just a little bit. But for me, uh, you know, you already combine UFOs and inner earth. Then you want to throw in some occult Nazi stuff. Oh, my God. You just light me on fire. This is one of my most favorite subjects in the world. So that always leads to the discussion of Operation High Jump. And for those of you that have done the research, you know, it's a controversial subject. There's, there's a lot of debunkers out there. But what it boils down to is that what, what's not debatable are some of the things that I have posted up there right now. You see in the, in the upper left, there's the official Navy report for Operation High Jump. So they're definitely not hiding that there was an Operation High Jump. They're just hiding the nature of it. Uh, what you see to the right of that report is an actual printout of the article from El Mercurio in Santiago, Chile. So, so Admiral Byrd leads a fleet down to uh, the Antarctica, and that's in uh, December of, of 1946. Um, he's back before the end of February with uh, this quote in uh, that newspaper from Santiago, Chile. Admiral Byrd declared today that it was imperative for the United States to initiate immediate defense measures against hostile regions. Furthermore, Byrd stated that he didn't want to frighten anyone unduly, but that it was a bitter reality that in the case of a new war, the continental United States would be attacked by flying objects, which could fly from pole to pole at incredible speeds. Okay. That was the first press conference. He did a second press conference in July and was basically silenced after that. He, there's, there's no real quotes that you can find. Uh, that I've been able to find or that any other researchers that I've researched have been able to find. And, you know, right away, our, our audience is, is real smart or they probably wouldn't be tuning into this in the first place. You know what that means. That means that something, something fishy is going on. What are they trying to cover up? I don't know. But the legend is that there's a base down there, Base 211, it's uh, known as. So I was really fascinated by this and I had to dig deeper.